dream on, dream up, cause I've been waiting here for so long. From Vancouver to Cape Breton and everywhere in between, the 2017 Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada season concludes here in London, Ontario with the Freedom 55 Financial Championship, where two young guns battle it out for Player of the Year honors. It's put me on the right path to the PGA Tour and that's all you want to do. I just got to go out and take care of business and try and hold on to that number one spot. And the Freedom 55 Financial Canadian Player of the Year trophy is up for grabs. We have a lot of great Canadians out here, so to be top Canadian at the end of the year, it'd be a bonus for me. I've had a good year this year. That's my goal. Hopefully I can finish up positively this year and see where it takes me. And the top 60 battle for a coveted spot in the top five and a trip to the web.com tour next. This is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. It's here, the final stop on the 2017 Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada schedule. The Freedom 55 Financial Championship is the last chance for players to jump up in the order of merit and earn status on the web.com tour. And moving up is on everyone's mind. Coming into this week, I'm guaranteed nothing more than at least going to final stage of Q School. And I think a lot of professional golfers will tell you that just getting to final stage of Q School may be one of the hardest things in professional golf. So no matter what happens this week, this, this whole season has been more than worthwhile and definitely one of the best decisions I've made. I knew I could advance to the web through this tour. Just coming out here and jumping off to a good start and securing a top five or top ten is, is what you want to do. And just doing that has changed my mindset for sure. That was the whole goal. Being one was a bonus, but the goal was to be top five. So knowing that I secured a top five spot, uh, I achieved my goal. So it feels great. And uh, hopefully we can go to final stage of, of Q School and try and improve it. While some, like Stahl Foundation Open champion Johnny Ruiz, have already secured their spot in the top five, others will have to make a move here in London against a deep field. The level of competitiveness is, is very high. You know, I think there's probably 15 to 20 guys on this tour that's, that have actually played in PGA Tour events and made a name for themselves, so it's, it's good to see. It's much deeper than people think. There's probably 70 to 80 guys in the field every week that have a legitimate shot to win. But no matter who hoists the trophy at week's end, the process is what it's all about. It's been a long time coming. It's been four years now for me. It took me a little while to get comfortable, and I knew with my game, once I got comfortable, I was gonna be okay. You just gotta keep grinding it out because one week can change everything. If you wanna get better and if you wanna progress in golf, the McKenzie Tour is a path just because you really get a feel for how the PGA Tour and the web.com work. I think it's the closest thing to the PGA Tour that I've seen. It's been such a huge factor in my growth as a player. It's been great having a couple of top tens up here in a win. Give me a lot of confidence to uh, move forward, hopefully next year to the web. I feel like getting on the web is easily as hard as getting to the PGA Tour. It's the biggest step and it's what everybody plays for out here. We're not up here playing for the money and certainly not the fame. We're out here to try to get on the web and uh, having a chance to do that in the final week is more than I could ask for. Highland Country Club is playing firm and fast in round one of the Freedom 55 Financial Championship. But with just 72 holes left in the 2017 season, players come out firing. Kimberly BC's Jared Dutois grabs four birdies on the front side and five on the back and posts a bogey-free 9-under-61 for an early three-stroke lead over California's Brett Lederer and Jonathan Garrick. I think I might have been out of position two times and both times I was able to get them up and down for par and then I was able to convert a lot of birdies but just an overall you know solid round just kind of managed well. The Arizona State standout leads the race for the Freedom 55 Financial Canadian Player of the Year 
but can move into the five with a win. And this 22-year-old first-year professional is confident. I'm probably more on the thinking side anyway. I probably overanalyze, if anything. So when it's firm and kind of the wind swirling like it was today a little bit, I think I have a little bit of an edge there just because I do kind of think a lot. Both Lederer and Garrick shoot matching 6 under 64s to climb into the early hunt. Garrick, the 23-year-old All-American from UCLA, is making his 21st career start on the McKenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. While at 10 years his senior, Lederer is now in his fifth year on tour. In the chase pack, order of merit leader Kramer Hickok, who posts an opening round 65 and sits in a seven-way tie for fourth, along with Jonathan Kahn, Chris Kilmer, Sean Harlington, Chris Williams, Jordan Niebrugge, and Hank Lebiota. After the break, we take a look at the Player of the Year race. That's why I came to this tour, to get status on the web.com and become a better player. I know I'm, I'm good enough to play out there. Just to be on the web next year will be, will be really fun. And then, second round action continues at the Freedom 55 Financial Championship when this is the McKenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada returns. This is the McKenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. All season, it's been a tightly contested race for Player of the Year. And thanks to two wins and three runner-up finishes, Kramer Hickok has a firm grip on the number one spot on the order of merit. I always enjoy playing with Kramer. His game is so solid. He just doesn't make mistakes. When he hits a few good shots, you know, he can make a bunch of birdies in a row, and it's, it's super impressive. I feel like he's contended almost every week up here. He's won twice. I mean, you know, what, what, what can you say? It's impressive. It, it really is. It shows a lot of grit. His game's unbelievably good. If he gets that flat stick rolling, you need to watch out. I respect him as a person and as a player. I know Kramer now for four or five years. We played in college a bunch. Seeing him progress has been very impressive, and especially last week's win. Barely made the cut, and then he goes out and shoots minus 16 over the weekend. Very impressive. Showing you how hard work and determination, working on the right things, definitely pays off. Seems like he doesn't make any mistakes, and that's what you have to do to, to play well. It's really fun to watch, and, and all parts of his game are great. As a person, I mean, he's, he's the best out here. He's just a high-class guy. He honestly is. And I'm not saying that because I'm on TV or anything, but uh, playing with him and getting to know him is, has been great. Robbie Shelton has also had a standout season. The Alabama native earned a victory at the Golf BC Championship earlier this year and followed it up with two top five finishes. The 22-year-old currently sits in second on the order of merit and is the only player who can overtake the Texan at the top. But he'll need to win, and Hickok will have to finish worse than 19th to earn full status. Just to have some status is nice, and then you can turn that into something even better. It, it means a lot. It's put me on the right path to the PGA Tour, and that's all you want to do. I know I'm, I'm good enough to play out there, and just to be on the web next year will be, will be really fun. Robbie's one of those guys who's just super steady, just Always calm, he swings it unbelievably well, and what I mean by that is he, you don't ever see him missing fairways and missing greens, and, and when he does, he's chipping it close. It won't be long before he'll be on the PJ Tour, and I'm sure he'll, he'll have a win or two out there. Hickok and Shelton are already assured some status on the web.com tour next year. Now it's just a race to see who can put on that number one jersey at week's end. To know that I've guaranteed it, it, it means a whole lot. That's why I came to this tour, to get uh, status on the web.com and, and to become a better player. And I've already uh, secured both of those things. I know I've become a better player and I, I know, you know I got some status. So now I just got to go out and take care of business this week and, and try and hold on to that number one spot. Round two of the Freedom 55 Financial Championship features a different cast of characters as Highland Country Club toughens up. 18-hole leader Jared Dutois can't quite find his rhythm on day two. After posting a two over 72, the youngster falls back into a tie for seventh. Meanwhile, 23-year-old Cody Blick starts fast, 
With four birdies on the front nine and five on the back, the Californian matches Dutois' opening 61 with a bogey-free nine under par of his own in round two. I wasn't really thinking anything special until I birdied 15. And then I realized I have a chance to beat Dutois' round yesterday and, and maybe sneak in a 59 if something special happens. Flick currently ranks 13th on the order of merit and is looking to move into the five with a win. But nothing alleviates that pressure like being paired with a friend. Everything just kind of was pretty solid. And, you know, I played with Rico, and he's a good buddy of mine. He's been a friend since early college. And uh, we just had fun, and he got off to a really hot start. And I was kind of just trying to keep up with him. Rico Hoey fires off three birdies in his first three holes and cards four more birdies to just three bogeys for a four under 66 and a tie for fourth alongside Brett Lederer and Jordan Niebrugge. Making his 27th career start on the McKenzie Tour, 28-year-old Jonathan Kahn plays his way into contention thanks to a second straight 65. He sits in a tie for second with Hank Lebiota. The 23-year-old Florida State star already has a win this season and ranks 15th on the order of merit. Coming up next, the top Canadians battle it out for the Dan Halderson Trophy and Freedom 55 Financial Canadian Player of the Year honors. We have a lot of great Canadians out here, so to be top Canadian at the end of the year, you would have had a great year by capping that off. Then, it's moving day at the Freedom 55 Financial Championship. Can Cody Blick hold on to the pole position, or will someone emerge from the chase pack? Find out when this is the McKenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada returns. This is the McKenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. Eight players teed it up this week with a shot at the Freedom 55 Financial Canadian Player of the Year. And the top three in the running for the Dan Halderson Trophy include players like BC's Sean Harlington. I've had a good year this year. That's my goal. That's an extra $25,000 bonus, and that would go a long way into, uh, into my next year and my next step in my career. I'm impressed with his game. I always have been. You know, he's a guy that seems to be in the mix every week. Um, he's a very consistent player. He's definitely someone to watch for sure. Also in the mix is 2015 Freedom 55 Financial Championship winner, Ryan Williams. When he's hot, he's really hot. He drives it pretty long, and when he makes pots, he just kind of makes it from everywhere. He's been out here for a while. Always is up near the top of the leaderboards each week, and at the end of the year, he's always up there on the money list. Ryan's one of my best friends out here. We've been playing together for six, seven years since I started playing golf again. I wish the best for all my best friends out here that we play together, and we want to see each other do well and push each other to do better. We have a lot of great Canadians out here. Um, it'd be a bonus for me also being affiliated with Freedom 55 Financials, so that would be, uh, that'd be nice to win that award. You would have had a great year by capping that off. And rounding out the trio is first-year pro Jared Dutois. Jared obviously has proven himself on the golf course. What he did last year at the Canadian Open, I think, speaks for itself. I think that gave him a lot of confidence to, uh, to come out here as a pro and, and succeed right away. The 22-year-old Arizona State product owns three top 10s and six top 25s this year and ranks 22nd on the order of merit. He's just a gamer. He just doesn't really have any weak parts of his game. He's going to definitely go on to do some great things in golf. Just a really good kid, too. Obviously, I'm very thankful for this tour being here, and hopefully I can finish up positively this year and see where it takes me. It's moving day at the Freedom 55 Financial Championship, and several players use prime scoring conditions at Highland Country Club to their advantage. California's Rico Hoey begins the day five strokes off the lead held by 36-hole leader Cody Blick, but he quickly catches up to his friend and traveling partner with five birdies on the front nine and makes the turn at five under par. Blick can only add one birdie on the front side and sees his advantage shrink to one by the turn. Like everyone this week, Hoey is looking to move up into the top five on the order of merit, and he can do that with a win. We have nothing to lose out here. We know that we have to play well in order to squeeze inside the top 10, top five. So, I mean, you know, we don't need that unnecessary pressure. So we're just having a good time and things will fall into place. And things do fall into place for the 21 year old on the back nine. He picks up three more birdies coming into close with an eight under 62 and a three-stroke lead over Cody Blick, 
who manages just an even par 70 in round three. Yesterday, I, I bogeyed 18, and that kind of left a sour taste in my you know, mouth. So you know, I kind of wanted to come in and finish strong in the back nine and birdie the last hole, and I guess I did that. I, I'm not going to worry about anyone else. I'm just going to just try to shoot a good score and see what happens. Brett Lederer maintains his momentum in round three. Making his 45th start this week in London, the lefty from Long Beach State cards a bogey-free 565 and sits in a three-way tie for third with Cody Blick and Grayson Sig. Sig, a two-time All-American from the University of Georgia, posts a bogey-free 664 to get within three. Meanwhile, BC's Ryan Williams climbs to within four of the lead thanks to a fast start. He cards birdies in four of his first six holes and then closes with an eagle at the last to post a seven under 63. After the break, it's the final 18 holes of the 2017 season. Who will capture the Freedom 55 Financial Championship? Find out when this is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada returns. This is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. It's Championship Sunday at Highland Country Club, and there are 18 holes left in the 2017 season. 18 holes to determine the 12th champion of the year. 18 holes to determine who moves up to the web.com tour. And Championship Sunday at the Freedom 55 Financial Championship does not disappoint. 54-hole leader Rico Hoey starts the day with a three-stroke advantage over the field and comes out firing. After four birdies in his first six holes, the 21-year-old's lead grows to four over Jordan Niebrugge. Niebrugge starts fast with an eagle at the first and then adds two more birdies to his card to make the turn at 15-under. Niebrugge is just one of a host of challengers making a charge. Chris Williams is flawless on the front side, carding four birdies and an eagle at the par four ninth hole to join Niebrugge in a tie for second. Meanwhile, third round contenders Cody Blick, Brett Lederer, and Grayson Sig can't quite get it going on Sunday. Blick and Lederer finish with matching 71s to end in a tie for 10th, while Grayson Sig settles in a tie for sixth after posting a one under par 69. The competition heats up down the stretch. Williams pulls within one of Hoey after an eagle on 11. But bogeys on 16 and 18 prevent the former world number one amateur from overtaking the lead. He finishes with a six under 64 and solo fifth place. Meanwhile, Hoey keeps pushing on the back nine. A birdie at the par five 11th pushes him three strokes in front of Niebrugge, who makes a run with birdies on 13, 14 and 15. But on Championship Sunday, with everything on the line, no lead is secure. Hoey drops a shot at 16, and Niebrugge birdies 17 to get within one. But the 21-year-old from the University of California rebounds with a birdie of his own at 17, and closes out the final tournament of 2017 as a champion. With the 12th event in the books, the final five is set. With the victory, Hoey vaults from 11th to 5th on the order of merit. With two victories on the season, Patrick Newcomb holds on to the fourth position, while Johnny Ruiz worked his way into third with a win and two additional top fives. Coming in at number two, Alabama's Robbie Shelton, whose early victory at the Golf BC Championship propelled him up the leaderboard. And last but not least, after two wins and three runner-up finishes, Kramer Hickok holds on to the number one position. In addition to the top five players earning status on the web.com tour, the players who finish sixth through 10th on the order of merit earn exemption into the final stage of web.com tour Q School, led by Lee McCoy, Max Rotliff, Chase Wright, Jordan Niebrugge, and after a T32 finish this week, TJ Vogel hangs on to the 10th spot. This is the fifth season of the McKenzie Tour and the fifth uh, presentation of the five. With a buzz still stirring in the air, the festivities continue as the five and the Canadian Player of the Year are announced. Now the Canadian Player of the Year Award recognizes that player who has won the Canadian Player of the Week Award the most. Come on up, Jared. 
Thank you guys very much uh, for everything. Um, you know, obviously a huge shout out to Freedom 55 for uh, making all of this possible. I just want to congratulate uh, the, the five sitting in front of me for whooping my butt all year. Congratulations, guys, and best of luck next year. Yeah, go Canada, eh? Dude, seriously, thank you. Yeah. What a wonderful year it's been. These four are going to go on and have success on the web.com tour, but, but only one player is number one. Player year, Kramer Hickok. <clears throat> I know this tour has been huge, I think, for all of us, just to help us excel as, as people and excel our career. It's just a huge stepping stone for all of us. It was my goal for the whole year to uh, be top five, and it feels really good to, uh, to accomplish that. Finally, I get to show off something. I feel like I'm one step closer to achieving my dreams of going on to the PGA Tour, and you got to start off somewhere, and I'm glad I started off here. If you're shooting really good scores in practice and you're shooting really good scores in smaller tournaments, you know, you just need that one event to break through. It's a dream come true. That's what we've been working for, just to have this and to, uh, to have a chance to play out there on the web is, is what you want. It feels unbelievable. It's, a, it's great validation for me, you know, coming in the year, I, you know, I barely made it through Q school. It just shows the depth of the field. Extremely uh, happy with my, the way my game pro progressed and uh, happy to sit in that number one spot. As the McKenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada 2017 season has officially ended, we bid adieu. But stay tuned as the five continue their journey to the web.com tour and beyond. And with that, the stage is set for a new cast of characters to chase the dream in 2018 when McKenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada returns.